All right. Hello? Who is this? couldn't sleep, so uh, I got myself some hot milk. Do you want some? No, no thanks. Come back to bed? Yeah, yeah, I, I will in a minute. Hello? Listen, I know it's you, Mitchell. And you're not freaking me out. If you carry this on, I will sue you for harassment. Go on, then. Make it ring now, and Ben will believe it's you. You're gonna sit there all night? It's all right, you'll find another job. Yeah. Who needs a reference, eh? Well, at least you've been suspended on full pay, so it's not like we're broke or anything, is it? Well, not yet. Been a few weeks. Yeah, and you'll find something else. Like what? I mean, in Besla Dawn, with a possible criminal conviction. Who the hell's going to employ me after that? <laughs> I knew it. How sad can you get? I'm going back to bed now. You know what, yeah? No problems? Still at college studying for your finals? Oh, it's been lovely chatting to you, I mean. Glad to see your people skills are as big a draw as ever. Doc. What are you doing here? It's it's half three in the morning. I've been for a walk. I don't sleep much now. I don't need it. You can't go walking around wolf at night. I'm, it's not safe. What if you got mugged? What if I disappeared altogether? What would happen then? Nothing. Nothing would change. You'd still go on serving breakfast and teas in here, same as before. Your land would go on doing everybody's washing. Yeah, but we'd be upset doing it. How long for? Look at Pauline. It's as though she never even existed. Does, does Jim know you're here? I'd be worried about you. I left him a note I could manage my life, Ian. I ain't an invalid. Oh, I know, Dot. Don't we care about you? That's all right, isn't it? You're a nice boy, Ian. Pauline loved you very, very much. You want to remember that? No, I, I do. I will. I bet be off. That's right, I'll, I'll walk you back. No, I'll be fine. No, I'm going that way anyway. Oh, right, I'll do your deal. How about you walk me home and you keep me safe? <laughs> I'm glad you're moving into Pauline. She'll like that. It means she can be able to watch over you all. Yeah, don't tell my kids that. Well, that's a settling thought, knowing she's there. We look after the ones we love, Ian. Always. Morning, sleepyhead. Rise and shine. Bought you some breakfast. I'm apologising for yesterday, messing things up with Ben. Oh, that's all right. It's just uh, it's a bit softer than that's all. I know. Although I think you might have been a little bit hard. I found this outside our door when I went to get breakfast. I think he must have left it there. That's my cows. Yeah, now listen, Phil, don't get mad. He must have done it for a reason. Mate's his way of saying that he doesn't want to go to play school. I did warn you not to push him. Please let me deal with it, Phil. He obviously feels he can't talk to you if this is the way he communicates. Oh, I'll communicate with him, all right? 
Hey, what's going on, eh? What's all that about? I didn't do this. So who did it then? Oh, you're not going to do that one again, are you? You're going to blame Stella, like when she hit you, only she didn't, did she? Now, you're going to that play scheme, whether you like no, it or I'm not. No, I'm not. Not if you don't believe me. Pick that up now. Get stuck. What did you say? Now what's going on? Phil, why don't you calm down and go and have your breakfast? We'll be fine here, won't we, OK, please? Look, ben, I'm sorry if I've scared you, all right, but you've got to stop lying to us. Oh, sorry, your lady. She don't want to see you. It's OK. Just tell her that I'll be opening the laundrette as usual, and if she wants to quit, she'll have to tell Mr. Hoppadopoulos herself. I won't do it for her. Well, maybe she'll come to her senses before then, eh? I mean, she don't want to leave. I think it's just Pauline things like coming to her, you know. Look, Jim, this isn't what I wanted, you know. Oh, I know. I know you're trying to help, Lana. Why she can't see that is beyond me. So mm. long, Who is it? Oh, come on, Dorothy. What's wrong, love? Nothing's wrong. No? Then why'd you go to church today? Eh? I mean, it is Good Friday. You never miss that. I said I'd run you down there in the car and help. I'm sure. I don't need that kind of help. Well, what's the doing? Get the doctor then. I don't need her neither. Well, what is it then, Dorothy? Eh? What can I do to make things better for you? Tell me, please. All I've ever wanted is to be your friend, Ben. I didn't glue his stupid book. I didn't. You did. I think the person who glued that book was scared. Don't you? Scared that if Phil found out how weak and frightened you were, he'd find it hard to keep on loving you at all. That's right, isn't it? I won't let that happen, Ben, I promise. You need me. Just trust me on that, OK? Yeah. Where are you going? You need to be here. Talk to Ben. Oh, yeah, that's really worked out so far, isn't it? You can't give up on him. I'm not. It's like you said. You do things your way, I do things mine. Oh, you enjoyed that, did you? Killing my career? You've ruined me! You ruined yourself, Rob. You had the affair. You falsified that credit card. You're responsible for all of this, and it's about time you learned to face that fact. Oh, what? What else you got planned? Just one more thing. I'm going to watch how long it takes before that gold-digging tart dumps you for someone else. Round about the time your last paycheck runs out, wouldn't you think? Why should you feel guilty? Well, she's my friend and I've upset her. I mean, what do I do if she refuses to come back? Who is going to run this place? That's not your problem. No. But it could be if I decided I wanted it. OK, right. So, what does Patrick think? Well, he thinks I should accept. I mean, we could do with the extra money. Sounds like a no-brainer. But I promised Dot I didn't want it. Miss Fuller? Oh, hello. Yeah, it's uh, Ian Beale again. Um, listen, I was just ringing up to confirm that everything was agreed and that you're going to come round tonight, sign all the paperwork and pick up the keys? Yeah, 30%. Yeah. Um, there is one more thing, yeah. Could you, uh, could you tell my daughter that? Hello. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you tonight. Thank you. And I've also found out the bed company. They are delivering one double deluxe divan, individually sprung for maximum comfort, this afternoon. They don't deliver on bank holidays. They do if you pay them enough. I've moved the urn. Where have you put it? Oh, never mind. If it's in the loft, I'll find it. It's not in the house, all right. It's not here, is it? Ian, you haven't. Why not? Because it's unhygienic and disrespectful. It's only temporary, all right? Just till Martin works out what he wants to do with them. You can't leave him in the calf. Where's the dignity in that? I'm still not moving. She'll just come back at night. Oh, she follows us around as it is. Can't eat this now, not with the dead woman behind the counter. It's disgusting. Vinnie Franks. I'll film Mitchell and have a word. 
Just that one. I'm busy. It won't take long. It's about your son, Jez. Well, you ain't gonna whine to me about him bullying someone, are you? Just tell your boy to grow up here. Yeah, well, it ain't that simple. It never is, is it? Look, you know how life works. He can either stand up for himself or start learning how to flip burgers. Now, get out of my way. Let's go somewhere prior, shall we? Hey? Hi, Darren. He's gone there. No, try her on a mobile. I'll try, but she's not picking up. Yeah, because she's hats off for you. Why don't you do what you normally do and buy something expensive? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Exactly what your boy done to mine. Now, you ain't gonna whine about it, Vinny, are you? You just grow up here, right? Back off right now. Make me. What? Well, that's what bullying is, isn't it? All you gotta do is stand up for yourself. <laughs> 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 Now, I'm going to show you what life's all about. Oh, Doc, thank goodness. Right, look, um, I'll speak to him first and I'll, I'll just say, no thanks, I don't want the job, and then I'll turn him over to you. Service wash, please. That's one wash, one spin, and three dries. Dorothy. Doc, why are you treating me like this? You'll have to get used to it. It's a service industry. People think that you're beneath them, and of course you're not, you're just as good. Any more helpful? I don't deserve this, you know. I came here to help you. Thank you. Right. Morning. Mr. Papadopoulos. Yes, Yolandi Truman from Bridge Street Laundrette. It's about the job you so kindly offered me. It's the, the word of his father, that's all. I see. Anyway, it's over now. Ben won't get bullied anymore. Oh, no, it just feel worse than ever now. What? He didn't want you to help him, Phil. He wanted to make you proud of him. Well, it's, it's done now, isn't it? Well, don't tell him. Let him go to play scheme and find out that he's okay. Start feeling better about himself. Okay. We'll play things your way. They won't be frightened anymore. That's the main thing, isn't it? Thanks. Well, if you do want a bloke to be interested in you, you need two things: a pretty face and a great body. What about personality? <sighs> well. Yeah, in the long term, I suppose. But well, not for a sight like this. She ain't my top earner because of her personality. Oh, finally, I thought we'd never surface. Damn. I'll tell you what, that leak and nerve party, I left her two in the end. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're getting older, Mick, but are oh, you getting smarter with it? Nah, I've got some Ojan Maxi Strength Paracetamol. Oh, Darren. Only if you can tell me why Lee's so flush all of a sudden. Darren! Darren! Listen, her cousin got lucky with some internet calf that was going out of business, so they just picked these computers up next to nothing. Yeah, that's interesting, that one. Knowing that she's a dodgy character. Oh, there's nothing dodgy about that at all. And he has eyes, but he cannot see. Behind every fortune lies a victim, Mickey, and who's the most put upon runt around here. What do you want, Mitchell? Oh, I just wanted to say sorry about the ghost thing. I didn't mean to freak anyone out. See? Told you it was all nonsense, didn't I? So I bought you these. It's a way of saying sorry. It's some DVDs from the shop. It's the old stock that I thought it'd make a nice housewarming. A bit of family viewing, you know? Thanks, Billy. Appreciate it. No problem. Dad. Oh, yeah. Very funny, Mitchell. I'll send you the bill when you're in therapy. You're becoming...